Okay, welcome everybody back to the men's empowerment movement. I'm KB. These are my books, Millennium Women, Gender Assassination, The Plot to Destroy All Things Male, and Millennium Women, War on Man, Bully Tactics, Why Their Independence is Failing Them in Their Relationship and How to Be Empowered. Okay, you can pick up these books on Amazon. This one is there now. This one will be there next month when it comes out. Okay, now, today, what I need you to like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. All right, today's topic is... Has gender been weaponized against men? Has gender been weaponized against men? And I say yes. Here's what I mean. In today's society, women are intimidating, bullying men, okay, to the point where it's because they know that men can't fight back because it's going to be offensive. So they're intimidating men. They're talking to them like, you know, they're less than human, subhuman. And they're using bully tactics in order to control men. So what they're doing is in workplaces, homes, street, gyms, wherever, they're using like their power and authority figures to control men. Now, they are here talking you know, to men in a sexist way, a bullying way, but then they're jumping back and said, hey, but you can't talk to me that way. And if you do, I'll have you fired. I'll have you kicked out of the gym. I'll have you locked up. Now, they're intimidating men. So therefore they're saying their gender is more important. Female gender is more important than male gender. Female gender trumps male gender because they're sitting back claiming and playing victim. See, now they're out here using bully tactics, intimidation tactics against men, sexist tactics against men. But yet at the same time, they're saying you can't do the same thing to me. So they're weaponizing their gender against men in order to silence and censor their voices. See, they want to shut you down and shut you up. See, they don't want you to challenge them. They don't want you to debate them. They don't want you to criticize, oppose, do anything that go against what their agenda is against you. See, that's the thing. See, they got an agenda against you as a man, but yet at the same time, they're saying, hey, you can't do the same thing to me. So they're running around here trying to be the end all. Okay. When I say the end all, their word is first, middle, and last. So therefore, they going to start it and they going to end it. Okay. They going to start talking to men in a way and trying to intimidate men. See, they get out here and they want to, you know, compete against men and be empowered. Nothing's wrong with that. Nothing's wrong with that at all. But it's how they're doing it. It's their approach. See, their approach is, hey... I can say whatever I want to to you. I can disrespect you. I can be sexist against you. You know, they saying things like, oh, well, you know, you know men are this and men are, 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 are terrible people and men are toxic masculinity. See, it's always coming at men pointing a finger to denigrate them. Now, at the same time, they're saying they're jumping behind the gender car for protection and saying, you can't do the same thing to me because if you do, it's offensive and sexist and I'm a victim of your uh, 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 bullying attacks or your offensive attacks or your sexist attacks. So they're weaponizing gender. They're using their gender as a control tool to take you down. Okay? It's to take you down. Okay? In other words, they're intimidating. Now you got men walking around here on eggshells. Oh, uh, uh, I don't want to offend this woman, so I want to go and uh, talk to her in a way almost like she's your mother. You're scared to talk back to your mother. See, and she's sitting there like a princess on the throne talking about the queen has spoken. You bow down to me. You come to me with uh, 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 on your knees. Otherwise... I'll get you fired. Okay? I'll get you kicked out the gym. I'll get your endorsement deals taken away from you. I'll do whatever it takes 
to get rid of you. How is that not weaponizing gender? They, they, see, they're weaponizing their gender and turning it like a gun on you. They're saying, hey, I'll shoot you, but you can't shoot me back. I'll slap you, but you can't slap me back. I'll abuse you, but you can't abuse me back. I'll have you locked up if you do anything that I dislike. Because they're saying their voice and their gender are weapons to destroy you with. See, it's to bring you down and intimidate you. They're saying, hey, by me being a woman, I can do whatever I want to to you. And there's not a damn thing you can do about it. Nothing. And that's not weaponizing gender. Like hell if it's not. Okay. Now, what is a man supposed to do when a woman says that things like that? When she intimidates him and bully him. But yet she jumping behind the gender car for protection so that she won't get retaliated, retaliated against. See, well, a man's supposed to stand up on his own two feet and make her stand up on her own two feet. See, this is why I tell you guys to go after the sensitivity and emotional need because it's a weakness that they're using as a strength. See, as long as they got that emotional and sensitivity card that they can play, they can intimidate and bully you. See, but we're going to take that out of their hands. Because, see, they're strong, they're equal, they're independent, and they're very serious competitors to men. Make them own that. Make them own that. And then you go after the weak sensitivity and emotional needs that they have because that's the card they're using to destroy you with. See, it all comes down to that. Because, see, they can jump behind a gender card and say, oh, I'm a victim. Because she's emotional and sensitive. Oh, you're offensive. Because she's emotional and sensitive. Oh, you're sexist. Because she's emotional and sensitive. See the con game they're playing, guys? See, it's a psychological con game that they're playing. So we got to expose the con game over here. Because we got a motto. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. See, I don't give a damn that she's offended. When she's bullying you. I don't give a damn that she's playing victim. When she's intimidating you. See, I don't give a damn that she's emotional and sensitive. When she's trying to destroy you. See, because the reason why I don't give a damn. Is because I don't owe her nothing. I owe her nothing. Zero. And you don't owe her nothing. And that's the way you have to approach and treat women who bully and intimidate men. You have to let them know. You don't owe her nothing. So therefore, you don't have to bow down to her emotional and sensitivity needs. That's her problem. Go get you some help. Okay? Go get some therapy. Whatever you need to do to take care of that problem that you have, go get it. But we don't owe you nothing. And we don't have to bow down because you're going to cry. That means you can't measure up. That's what it means, fellas. See, when they jump behind a gender card for protection, what they're saying is that they can't measure up. They're saying they're not equal. They're not strong. Okay? They're not a serious competitor. They're saying they're a poor little weak victim who needs protecting. See? See how they're having it both ways? See how they jumping in your face, pounding on the chest, talking about, I'm strong, I'm, I'm, I'm equal, I'm independent. Women roar, roar, roar. Yeah. Until it don't go their way. Until they can't measure up. Until a man decides to uh, push back and challenge back, debate back, oppose. Then they're saying, hey, I'm a weak victim. See, that's the whole thing, guys. They don't want to be challenged. They just want you to give it to them. Just let me have my way. Let me do whatever I want to to you. And you just bow down to whatever I say or whatever I do. That's how they got men out here today because they weaponized gender to do it. See, they weaponized their gender to do it. 
And it's time for men to man up, okay, and fight back. Because you have to let women know and everybody else know. You have a First Amendment right too. See, they want to silence and censor your voice. They don't want you to have your say. They want the first and the last word. And you just comply to their rules. Well, where's the rule that say I owe you emotional and sensitivity support? Where's that rule at? Where's that law at? Where's that written at? It's not. See, it's a, it's a facade, guys. See, that's what you got to understand. It's an illusion. It's a straw man. It don't exist. But they got you handpecked to it, tied down to it, okay, and saying you have to obey her rules. Obey what rules? Where's the law and the rules that say I have to obey? I don't have to obey a damn thing. I don't have to listen to her, cry, whine, whatever she's going to do because she can't measure up. I don't have to do none of that. I don't owe her nothing. And I refuse to bow down to her emotional sensitivity needs because I know that's the way she's trying to use the psychological con game to take me out and take me down. And that's what they've been doing to you. That's how they got you out here scared, checking your language, double checking your language, make sure you didn't offend her and got you out here apologizing for being a man. Apologizing for being a man. They done brought you down to your knees because they've weaponized gender against you. We said enough is enough over here. Not on the men's empowerment movement. Now, if you want to bow down to her needs, you go right on ahead. But for those who don't, those who want to remain a man, those who want to remain their masculinity and their manhood, we said, frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn about your emotional needs. I owe you nothing. Okay? They say, well, things like, oh, well, you got a mother and sister. You should be, you know what I'm saying, more respectful to women. See the psychological con game, guys? See, my mother and sister ain't got nothing to do with you. Yeah, I am going to give my mother and sister preferential treatment because they're my mother and my sister. Not because they're women, but because they're my mother and my sister. See, that's the key. See, they play that con game with you guys, this women, all women thing. No, it's not all women. All women are not the same. Okay? Because if they were, you wouldn't be so disrespectful to men, now would you, women? See, if they were, you wouldn't bully and intimidate men, now would you? And use your gender to weaponize it, now would you? So they're not equal. So, fellas, you got to separate the two. See, you got to let them know, you're not my mother and sister. Of course I'm going to give them preferential treatment and more respect. But for the woman who's trying to intimidate you and bully you and take you out, I owe her nothing. Zero. And that's what you let her know. You don't owe her a damn thing. Okay? You don't even know her. Okay? She's another person on this planet. It's all she is. Okay? So therefore, you don't have to put her in the category with your mother and your sister because they're both or all women. No, you don't. See, that's the con game even they've been using against men. So they can get respected. So they can get their way. They try to put it off on your mother and sister. So you don't want nobody to disrespect your mother and your sister. No, I'm going to protect my mother and my sister. Not because they're women. But because they're my mother and my sister. Hello? See, fellas, we're pulling the con game out of these women intimidation tactics. See, we letting them know, I don't owe you nothing. Okay? You too disrespectful. See, respect is earned. It is not given because of your gender. It's earned. And nature's law says in order to get respect, have to give it first. That's nature law. See, they want you just to give them respect for their gender, just for being a woman, even though they are disrespectful to you. Are you kidding me? No, you can't get no respect from me. Not if you're disrespectful to me. Like hell is not happening. See, will I give my mother and sister respect? Of course. 
because they're my mother and my sister. They family members. That's blood. And blood is thicker than mud. Okay? Because that's what the hell they slinging at you guys. Mud. Okay? And you don't fall for the psychological con game that they've been playing with you in order to get you to bow down to them. You don't have to bow down to them because you don't owe them nothing. They're not your family members. They're not your mother and sister. There's some random woman out here who's telling you to kiss her ass and go to hell and she don't need you. And she's trying to intimidate you. She's trying to get you fired off the job. She's trying to get you locked up, kicked out the gym. Now, why the hell do I need to bow down to somebody like that? It has nothing to do with her gender. It has something to do with her character. See, that's the thing, guys. See, it's her character. Her personality is AFU. Now, if you don't know what AFU means, it means all fucked up. See, that's what's wrong with her. And she's trying to piggyback off of other women's respectful nature. Even though she's disrespectful and intimidating and bullying to you and say all women are the same, so all women deserve respect. Fellas, we all know all women are not the same. And I'm not sure, I'm, I'm quite sure women don't want to put themselves in other categories with other women, now do they? Because you have some strippers, some prostitutes, some crackheads, okay, and all kind of disrespectful ass women out here. Now, do they want to get put in the category of those women? I'm quite sure not. See, now they're going to pull themselves out of the women category and put in themselves in their own category. See, it's only when it favors them do they want to get put into the category and piggyback off another woman's credentials and character and personality. See, so they're going to keep trying to weaponize their gender against you in order to intimidate you. That's so you can bow down to them. So they can silence and censor your voices and get their way. Now they get the jobs, they get the promotion, they get the they they get all the credit, okay? For intimidating you. Because they weaponize their gender. And over here, we're saying, frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Okay? I'm gonna treat you like you treat me. So if you don't so if you disrespect me, I have no choice but to not give you no respect. I have no choice. I'm not gonna respect you because of your gender, even though you're disrespecting me. And fellas, you don't have to do that because you don't owe her nothing. Zero. So let it be known, guys, that you will not allow a woman to use her gender against you because you don't owe her nothing. Let it be known, guys, that you won't let a woman put your mother and your sister in a category with her disrespectful ass. Okay? Let it be known. Okay? And when a woman says that to you, you got a mother and sister, you don't want nobody to treat them that way. You say, yeah, that's right. And I'm not. And that's why I'm not letting you treat me that way. See? I'm not going to let you treat me that way. That's my mother and my sister. They, I, I get, they got more leeway than you because they're blood. They're family. Okay? You're not. You're nothing. You're nobody to me. And you, will be, and you will be treated as such because you're strong, you're independent, you're equal, and you're a very serious competitor and I have to treat you as such. I'm not treating you like a weak victim that, that you want to claim to be when things don't work out for you. Or when you can't measure up. That's what you're saying. When you're saying you're offended and all jumping behind a gender car for protection, you're saying you can't measure up. That's not my problem. Okay? And I'm not going to try to solve it for you. Go we'll solve it your damn self. Okay? Because I don't owe you nothing. Okay? So, fellas, I'm going to wrap this thing up. So, let it be known that you will not allow them to weaponize their gender against you. You will not allow them to take you down, bully and intimidate you, you're gonna man up and let it be known. Hey, you can take that attitude you got and send it straight to hell where you got it from. Because frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. So fellas, y'all like, comment, and subscribe until the next episode. I'll